in this session let's start focusing on the topologies now land topologies uh, or the network topologies we know some of the popular ones are star mesh ring and bus and uh, let's also focus on the uh, the performance calculating the performance parameters for each of those topologies okay so we'll start off with the star topology and uh, here's the star topology we have uh, node 0 node 1 node 3 node 0 and node 1 will act as sources they'll start generating uh, the traffic data and uh, n2 will act as the destination it will receive both the traffics and n3 is the connecting device that will connect all these three devices and uh, in this diagram we also have the specification of the links that needs to be used saying that uh, there should be duplex links and uh, each of them all the three should be using drop tail queue mechanism data rates of uh, 3 mbps delay of 10 milliseconds and the queue size as 50 and further uh, the manual also specifies that uh, n2 should generate traffic of uh, tcp you should use tcp as a transport layer and the application will be ftp and it will start at one second stop at eight with the packets and so and so likewise n2 n1 will have transport letters transport layer as udp and uh, cbr will be the application that will be used here uh, of course the start stop time packet sizes rate by which the application should generate the packets and likewise uh, interval these specifications are given over here and correspondingly tcp's uh, receiver is here tcp sync and udb's uh, receiver uh, is the udp null which is uh, in fact both of them are at the end only now let's move to the practical let's move to the ubuntu we have the ubuntu here uh, meantime let's also have the uh, basically this one let's keep it to a side and let me keep it to a side so that we can have a look at the diagram and construct it and uh, in ubuntu let me also resize this let me take it to one side yes so that both of them are visible and what we do is now we'll start uh, using one uh, network scenario generator basically this is a application that will generate uh, tcl scripts for us the network scenarios tcl scripts for us let's get into the using it so it's a java jar so we should use java hyphen jar and then nsg2 dot one dot jar this is the uh, way to start the the network scenario generator application GUI yes we have the graphical user interface that has come up now in this uh, we have various menus uh, first one is exit the second one is a scenario so right now we want to generate the wired scenario in fact it also uh, allows wireless but wireless we'll see later as of now we, need, we want to generate wired scenario so we click on this so we have a working area that has come up so this is where uh, the nsg helps us in dragging and dropping all those the network diagram that has been shown here so we are in the nodes tab you have all these tabs here so we are in the nodes tab first we'll create we want to create uh, uh, senders n0 and n1 are the senders n2 is the receiver and then n3 is the connecting device so this is how we have created the nodes then they need to be connected by links so we click the links tab and of course it gives us the choice of what type of links to use so from the manual we know that it should be duplex it should use drop tail but we know the manual says which each of them should have a capacity of only 3 mbps so we chose 3 here delay is fine and then the queue size also is according to the manual here specified in the manual so we uh, we kind of set these configurations then we want to create a link between n0 n3 likewise from n1 to n3 and then from n3 to n2 this is how the links have been created then we move on to the agents agents are nothing but the transport layer so basically from the manual tcp got to be created on n0 so we use tcp and also we use the packet specifications that the manual is saying that is 15 so we 
choose the agent we choose in zero and then create a tcp and then the sync tcp sync should be created at n2 that's what the manual says so we created the sync and this tcp is connected to the, this sync and then uh, we further need to create transport layer of udp type so this got to be created on uh, n1 like what the manual says udp has been created and udp null got to be created on n2 so udp null got to be created on n2 and this udp need to be connected to this null good then after that the applications are needed to generate the data so ftp need to be created on this particular agent so it should start at 1 and 8 so we will have to change this to 8 and then we create the ftp application here further it we need to create a cbr application cbr application is here start stop times 1500 is the packet size so let's change the packet size to 1500 and then the rate as as specified in the manual to be 2 so once we have changed that configuration we can connect the cbr here and then finally we are we have just created a visual representation of the network that we want network scenario that we want basically a star topology and then we want to save these uh, files or we want to create a tcl out of this uh, and uh, we want the uh, tr files of this scenario to be saved in since it is explained 03 i will use a convention as star and then uh, nam file also we want the nam file to be saved in experiment 03 hyphen star dot nam so we'll say done then we get to the tcl when we click the tcl now this tool generates the tcl script for us in fact whatever we had dragged and dropped over here this tool beautifully generated the tcl scripts for us so it has also said where the trace file in fact we had specified that the trace file should be saved here and the nam file should be saved in this uh, file so it has created all the specifications that we told nodes links and then the agents and everything for us it has made our job easy so let's save this we click the save and we want to save it in our home directory this is the place where we have been working on so we'll give the naming convention as zero third experiment and since it is carrying star and remember we'll have to save it as extension dot tcl so we save this once you save this and after that the process is the same that we have been using so yeah where is that file saved it is saved here yeah it is saved here so network simulate network scenario generator that is nsg has generated that for us after that we know we'll have to give this tcl file to the network simulator we give it like this and when we generate it when we run it see that uh, there are no errors in fact uh, it must have also created the tar uh, trace file and it has also created the nam file where we had specified and of course uh, it has also brought out the nam so it has brought out the nam let's have a look at the uh, animations of this if we want we'll organize it a little bit now uh, let's move the two here let's uh, zoom in a little bit and then uh, let's drag this here and let's play the animation if we play the animation we know the time is ticking and at uh, one second we know that traffic will start flowing so right now we are at 0.9 seconds and one seconds yeah we have the traffic flowing so we have both tcp and the udp traffic flowing so we can see that uh, from one we have traffic flowing to two that is of udp type because there are no acknowledgements coming back likewise from zero we have traffic flowing to two and acknowledgement is going back indicating that this is the tcp traffic in fact that is what we had mentioned over here it is in line with our understanding then uh, yeah in fact we could have color coded these packets to distinguish them 
we will do it in the next section. So as we move forward, uh, far forward, all the animations are over. So we close this off and uh, let's also close this. Let's also close this. And then the other thing is we need to do the uh, analysis of the trace file that has been generated. And trace file we know we'll use awk and we have the script with us which is mgat. We should have said minus f. Let me correct it. awk minus f mgat awk file and the trace file we want to uh, analyze is star dot tf. When we hit enter now we can see we have all the data that has come up over here. So let me just scroll up. Yeah, in fact, TCP data is here. So we go to our slides and then we have uh, these tables here. So where we can note down our uh, readings that we, have, we are seeing or the performance analysis that we are seeing. So right now this is TCP. So we are into TCP. The TCP is flowing between uh, 0.02 or 0th node, 0th port to second node, 0th port of it. And what is the type of the packets? It is uh, TCP. What is the packet sizes? It is 1500. And then when did it start? It started at 1 second. When did it end? It ended at 8.22 seconds how many packets got traffic uh, sent 617 any, any drops no drops any retransmission no any duplicates no and uh, delivered all of them were delivered so that is the reason we are getting the delivery ratio as 100 percent and drop ratio as zero percent and likewise average delay is 0 0.205 uh, seconds and throughput as you can see approximately uh, it's 1.02 mbps so this was about tcp and likewise these are about acknowledgement packets and uh, we are not interested in acknowledgement in fact if we want we can note down the acknowledgement also but let's go to the udp packets which are moving from let me use a different color which are moving from node uh, 1 port 0 to they are they are also going to node 2 but a different port over there indicating that 2.1 and what are the packet types packet type are of CBR type because CBR application generated it what are the packet size 1500 they started at 1 second and uh, everything got transferred between uh, at 8.21 seconds and we can see that number of packets sent were 1167. Six of them, in fact, were dropped. Were they attempted to be retransmitted? No. Any duplicates? No. Because there is no retransmission, there won't be any duplicates. And then how many received? We can see there are slightly lesser number. Six of them got dropped. So we have a lesser number were received. And that's the reason delivery is slightly lower, approximately 99.5%. And what is the drop ratio? Approximately 0.5% of them are dropped. On the average, they took each of them took 0.2 seconds to get across. And then what is the throughput over here? Throughput you can see that it is slightly better. It is approximately 1.93 Mbps. Yeah, this is how we uh, do the t the star one and likewise we can do the mesh and ring as well in the next video we'll focus on the mesh topology okay thank you